despite the prevalence of data breaches, the Commission on Elections is implementing the online voting and counting system for the 2025 national and local elections to facilitate overseas voting. The system developed by SMS Global Technologies Incorporated and Sequent Tech Incorporated promises encrypted and private voting for overseas Filipino workers. Here's the details. Despite the prevalence of data breaches in the Philippines, the implementation of the online voting and counting system in the national and local elections for next year continues. With this new and innovative step by the Commission on Elections, the Commission believes that it will fill the gap in exercising the right to suffrage of overseas Filipino workers. The COMELEC has formally signed an agreement with the joint ventures of SMS Global Technologies Incorporated and Sequent Tech Incorporated for the implementation of the online voting and counting system for NLE 2025 on Tuesday, June 25, 2024. Although this is the first time that Sequent will handle a national election compared to its previous voting systems abroad, SMS GTI and Sequent are confident in the system that will be used for online voting overseas. According to Sequent, they are sure that the system used for OVCS in LLE is encrypted and private, which will protect the system from data breaches. That is end to end verified, which means that the votes are encrypted, they are private, and the process from the beginning when you cast the ballot to the end where you have the results is verifiable from, from beginning to the end. The project was awarded to SMS and Sequent at a lower cost of 112 million pesos while the Comelec has a maximum budget for the contract of 465.8 million pesos. Anthony Christian S. Angeles, President and CEO of the local company SMS GTI, insisted. So again, I would like to reiterate, ito po ang tamang pressure. No, hindi po siya mababa, ito po yung tamang pressure and I am confident no? and with our... Um, contract signed with Comelec that we would be able to deliver this project and at the same time we'd be able to show the Filipino people, our overseas workers, a very, a very uh, excellent user experience. Sequent also demonstrated the online voting process that will be used for the next year's midterm election. A computer, laptop with a camera or iPad, or even a mobile technology can be used to vote. In the cloud system created by the sequent, only the identification document of the OFW or specifically the passport is needed. The next step is the identification of the passport with the actual face of the voter. Lastly, is the face identification. When the OFW's identity is verified, a voting rule appears, then the ballot containing the names of the candidates candidates will show. If voting is complete, a surface will appear saying the vote has been cast along with the ballot ID. Comelec Chairperson Attorney George Irwin Garcia reiterated the target in this program is the seafarers who no longer have the opportunity to go to the embassy who vote due to a long stay at the sea. <laughs> This is Grisa Lopez for Euro TV News.